will welcome you as the Victoria government brought in a Minister for Men's Behaviour Change. And this is my response to that. Um, if you haven't subscribed to ProBricky Exclusive or the Pro Theologist channels, give us a go and let's see what's going on, guys. No apology and no remorse. But Peter Butler doesn't expect either from her mother. The woman... No apology and no remorse. But Peter Butler doesn't expect either from her mother. The woman who got a young daughter drunk and left her in a motel room with a stranger. The woman got her young daughter drunk and then left her in a hotel room with a stranger. I'd like to see who this woman is. It was the ultimate betrayal. Jailed and now free, her mum holds one last secret. Who was that man? Oh, so the mother was jailed and now free, but she never ever sold out the man. Um, I've had girlfriends that have had personal troubles in their life, and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's tragic, but this is a bad one. I would not have been raped that day. If it wasn't for her... Therese, what sort of a mother does that to there her own child? Therese, there's Therese, look at it. Look at it. Please? What sort of a mother does that to her own please. child? You don't know the facts. What stays with you? The smell, like his cologne, I remember that smell so vividly. Um, the face stubble. What about Tomo? Where's Tomo, Therese? Who the f is he? You think that she has that final piece of the puzzle that would bring that man to justice? Yeah. Or she knows someone who does. Therese, why didn't you help them find, excuse me. Hey, Therese, off. why didn't you help them find the man? Okay, so you've got the simp boyfriend the mother's a mess look she's she knows what she's done who raped her daughter I... there you go there she is I... peter butler has endured the unimaginable this is the face of a woman who has overcome trauma most would find insurmountable it's been 18 years since your mother betrayed you in the most evil way how are you doing now i'm actually doing incredibly Remarkable, given at just 16, Peter's mum, Therese, arranged for her to be raped. She took her on a so-called girls weekend to Toowoomba, west of Brisbane, gave her alcohol and offered her up to a man known as Tomo. An inconceivable act of betrayal, which Peter bravely decided to speak about. It only lasted for a couple minutes, but while he was raping me, I had my head turned to the side and eyes closed while crying. I couldn't speak, I couldn't, like my voice box had, I couldn't talk. I couldn't scream out to my mum. I couldn't do anything. Come, they become frozen and the fear just overwhelms them. And as you just heard there, they just can't. can't. Did you tell him you didn't want to do that? Yeah, I told him to stop. Waiving her right to anonymity, she detailed the ordeal six years ago to a current affairs Tracy Grimshaw. I'm thinking about this happening to you and your mum is a few metres away outside the door. I was hoping she was going to come in and stop it. No, but she didn't. I actually rewatched the story the other day and looking at that woman, I don't recognise her at all. You feel like you're watching someone else? Yeah. When you watch that back? Yeah, someone I don't recognise. She looks like she was in pain. So I'm very proud of who she was. The attack occurred in 2006, but Peter kept quiet, afraid no one would believe what had happened to her. And when she finally reported to it to police, she also managed to get her mother to confess okay. her part in it during a secretly recorded phone call. I told him that I was crying. I was telling him. Yeah, you still raped, but you were 16. I wouldn't let him touch you under, under 16. No way. I wouldn't let him touch you under 16. See, so she let him. She allowed it. I had to trick her into admitting it because there was no no way. If police turned up at her doorstep, there was no way she would have ever accepted it. She confessed to you. Denied, she was found denialists. guilty. Has she ever apologised to you? No. And I'll never receive that and I don't expect... No, and she won't because if she apologises, she endorses that she planned it and was a, um accessory to the fact. To receive it. How do you feel knowing this monster is potentially still out there? I fear for whoever he might have touched since. He deserves to be found. He yeah, deserves to be brought to justice. There'd be multiple victims. 
Therese was sentenced to four years behind bars, suspended after 12 months, pleading guilty to procuring a child for carnal knowledge. She was released in 2018, but Queensland parole laws have prevented us speaking with her until now. We never had the chance to ask your mother about what she did to you. How do you think she's going to react when we do? You'll definitely get a show. Therese, what sort of a mother arranges her own daughter's Excuse rape? Excuse me, you don't know the facts about it. So what sort of a mother does that to her own child? What sort of a mother does that to her own child? You don't know the facts and it was all wrong. Therese, are you sorry for what you did? You don't know the facts. The facts are, despite confessing, pleading guilty and serving jail time, Therese has continued to... See the pointing finger? Hang on. See the pointing finger? Once the finger starts pointing, it's over. time, Therese has continued to protect her then-boyfriend, Peter Tomo Thompson. This image of Tomo was created by police after Peter came forward and was revealed by Current Affair in 2018. Current Affair? Go and f yourselves. She hasn't come to terms with what she did, has she? Definitely not. No acknowledgement at all. She's trying to make people believe this sob story, even though the evidence is right there. Mm. You admitted to it. You did this. Just take ownership. Yeah. You want to know the facts? Sure. No. Maybe the Minister for Men's Behaviour Change should put in a request for a Minister for Female Behaviour Change. And there's a sin boyfriend. Nothing happened to my daughter. I did not set her up. When we approached Therese, she was with her current partner, Jason. Therese, you, you know, know these are lies. You, you pled guilty. Affair. Therese, why didn't you help them find... Excuse me. Hey, Therese, off. why didn't you help them find the man who raped your daughter? I tried. I tried. I don't know where that gutless mongrel is, but he never touched my daughter. Do you think she knows more? But he never touched my daughter. That's a lie. Because she said back here, in that phone call, let's just look. Right. I ne I, it, it was still, yeah, I, it was still rape, but you were 16. I wouldn't let him touch you under, under 16, no way. So she did. She did. You're a liar. Have, yes, I am. Uh, you go on by shit. Mate. My moron daughter comes out with. She's the liar. To her words. Oh, my moron daughter. What a horrible woman. Are you now? Not anymore. They did in the past, but I know the truth. Are you a monster mum, Therese? No. Stop I would die for my kids. Stop Always have. Stop Back off. You have to acknowledge what well, you've done. Of course, she's going to. She um, could have ruined she's my gonna, life. She's going to scream the hero. I'm the hero. I'd die and do anything for my kids, but she did anything for that bloke, didn't she? She let that bloke rape her daughter. She's a monster. But she's not going to betray herself, is that? Not this woman. But instead I turned it to power. What? This Always woman. have! This woman. She's a monster. And as the daughter said, she turned it to power. But instead I turned it to power. What makes Peter's story so inspirational is that despite everything she's endured at the hands of her own mother, it hasn't impacted the way she's raising her daughters, one of whom is now the age she was when her life changed forever. My kids deserve to grow up in a house where they're, they're aspiring to be something. So I'm doing everything I possibly can to set the example for my kids. How does it feel to be the one to do that? Incredible. You're being the mum that you deserved, aren't you? Yeah, I am. She's also running two businesses, one a professional cleaning company that boomed during the pandemic, the other more of a hobby, building outdoor furniture. You've been through a lot, you've come out the other side in the most remarkable way. What would give you the ultimate closure? Finding Tomo. Something police have never given up on, they're mm. still urging anyone oh, with information to come forward. You want to see oh, him brought fine. to justice? Yes. Not just for me, but for others that 100% he would have done this to. And while that final piece of the puzzle eludes Peter, her focus is here. How do you describe yourself today? Resilient, um, empowering, very strong, still very emotional. But, but... And, the, and the beauty of this story is she's not an addict. She hasn't turned to drugs and things to try and solve a problem. And unfortunately, this is what happens to a lot of these people. The crisis of what happens to them is too much and they turn to temporary fixes, which become long-term addictions. It's a good story. For the good reasons, um, but good ending. I am a force to be reckoned with. Good start. If you have any idea who this man may be, please contact Crime Stoppers. All right, guys, um, thanks for coming in.
Um, let's just. There she is. There she is. Um, you know, one of the. And you'll notice I was smoking and everything else. The daughter doesn't do that. There's two ways these people go that get sexually abused. They either go into self harm, self trashing, or they go into self preservation and preservation of others. Unfortunately, a lot of the time these people do go into self harm, self trashing, and pass it on to their children. And just goes down from there. If you haven't already, guys, um, we'll leave that there. No, I would die for my kids. No, she wouldn't. Um, if you haven't subscribed to Pro Rookie exclusive Pro Theologist, give us a subscription and a like.